Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Secrets to Success with Dr. Brain. Which is a horror game where you must watch an employee motivational training video. But soon you quickly find this video is not what it seems. Quick note that I have played never games with this developer, and this game is connected to the date time universe. Those are horror games where you basically dated computer viruses, and it goes as well as you would think. Is this the same company that made all those games? Welcome to the Data Time Television System. Please select command. Admin login. This will get me in. Damn. VHS tape. Success! It's not just a word. I think it is actually just a word. Like, what else would it be? It's a lifestyle. You are about the... the you are about the embark? On this life-changing journey. I guess it's to embark. From a lost and unambitious slob. To a go-getter. Before we continue, we need to personalize your experience. Type your name on the keyboard to the left. There's no keyboard! What a beautiful name! I don't have a name. I wonder what country of origin it's from. It's from the void. Turn back here. Hi. Now speak directly to the television microphone. What department do you work for? No, you don't want to work for marketing. No, not accounting. Data entry? Oh, oh no way. Management? Yeah. HR? Uh-uh. Contractor. I feel like getting fired. Our voice recognition technology detected that you said... Bacon. Is this correct? Yeah. I'm Bacon. Now, we're going to take your picture in 30 seconds, please don't. You want to look your best for this. So get ready. Comb down beard, freshen up makeup, stray and tie, adjust blouse, practice smile, finish lunch. This one, finish lunch. 20 seconds left. Keep finishing that lunch. 10 seconds left. Finish that damn lunch. Now turn to your right, and say, cheese. There's no camera here, either. Looking good. Now that we have personalized your experience, let's hand control this VCR success booth to someone who is here to help. Philosopher, psychiatrist, and entrepreneur. Author of the book, Secrets to Success, The Go-Getter Generation. And an inspiration to millions. Dr. Brain. Welcome, lost one, to the first step into being a go-getter. Your company, in replacement of traditional motivational services has implemented several high-tech success booths in your workplace. And with your des designated interactive VHS tape, I will be your guide to success through my patented five-step process. And you've already completed step one, which is tell me a little about yourself. Hey, wait, what? Please be patient as we load these lessons to you automatically. When it's loaded, just say, play next step for your television microphone. Or explore the other options available, indicated in our brochure. I'll start the loading menu. See you soon. 
why not chat via your keyboard with your fellow employees who are also in a VCR success booth? Main menu has been loaded, please choose your option. About Data Time Corporation. We're quick save. We're a ragtag group of engineers developing the newest technology. From computers to interactive VCR technologies, military, finance, and even dating simulations. Yeah, see, same company. We're part of a new group of businesses in emerging gold mine that we refer to as the Silicon Valley. Gone are the days of printed cards and machines taking up large warehouses. The personal computer is here. With a whopping 4 kilobytes of RAM. Oh, that's a lot. You'll be able to run anything you can. By our DT1 and DT2 models, stay tuned for our DT3 coming soon. Want to improve your employees' productivity? Dr. Brain is a motivational business speaker who has written several books including Secrets to Success, The Go-Getter Generation. Data Time's partnership with Dr. Brain introduces this new VCR technology to boost performance. Date Time Software, that's what I'm all about. Date Melissa, the bookish girl who loves art and science. Morris, the shy poet with a heart of gold. And Anna, the foot and ever popular athlete. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch. Learn more about- oh, I actually can learn more! Ah! Main menu has been loaded, please choose your option. Play next chapter. Quickness is the essence of the war. Nobody knows who said that bit of wisdom, but I'll be using it here. You need to be fast and efficient to achieve success. So, I'll be your drill sergeant on your path to being a go-getter. Please wait a moment while I am loading the next VHS section. At some point, you're going to develop a fandom and be sexualized. I'm just going to warn you about Hello. that. Who? Some of the voice? Are you the person that sits in the cubicle across from me? There's a person? Wait, who? Ah, oh, you scared me! Oh crap, I'm sorry about that. I hope I didn't give you a heart attack. I'm inside the therapy booth across from you. We're connected through this vent. Did your boss force you to go into this thing too? <sighs> this is my seventh time. It's so corny. What's that on the wall? It's like little dots. By the way, do you have the same problems I do with the copy machine? That damn piece of... <sighs> One day I'm gonna ride that thing down the stairs. Don't tell my boss I said that. Anyways, the next step is starting. Good luck. Welcome back, Lost Ones. Yes, that's right. We have multiple users right now using the booth scattered across your work office. Oh, there's, there's, there's our, uh... Who's, uh... Is that me? Like, it really says me, right? Three, in fact. No, because that's the other person. Well, I know. We'll, we'll see. But that, that middle one. We'll see what that is. Say hi to each other. You'll be competing for prizes. First place gets a nifty go-getter trophy. Huh? Do I really have bags under my eyes? I just thought it was me because... Well, you yeah, know, it has to be me. Because he's probably just showing everyone the same thing. And we're the ones with the broken camera and the broken keyboard. I'm a very successful man. We gotta team up against Bill. Take him out. I have a mansion. A beautiful... Posh... 911 car. But you know what I value more than any of that? Souls? Your car is gone, by the way. I think it's been, like, repoed. Attitude! That's right, last one. It all starts with your... Mindset. Let's try a scenario to warm you up. Hi. Your boss tells you that he has an important golf runner today, and you will need to offload some work to you at 5 p.m. What do you do? Save my game. Refuse to work overtime. 
Oops, you chose the wrong choice. See, the difference between those two choices are the difference between the two types of people. The go-getters. And the forever gones. Go-getters grind and hustle. They are always on the lookout for success. Persistence is the key. It is always the key. Forever gone, so? We'll miss out on achieving their potential. Let's play the scenario again. Your boss has an important meeting with a person that's not his wife at a nondescript motel. He wants you to work overtime. What do you do? Smile and say yes. Work that grind and hustle. Fit his entire shoe directly into my mouth and nod, this one. That's right, last one. Now you get it. You're ready for step triple. Let's load you back to the main menu. Main menu's been loaded, please choose your option. Play next time. This is the same thing, right? Yeah. Play next chapter. Hi. Yo. I took like half a box of donuts from the break room. It's in my file cabinet. You want one after we do this dumb seminar? Sure. Sweet, I'll save you some. Now we gotta team up against Bill. Besides, if we're gonna do overtime sitting here listening to a con man talk about his book, might as well get some perks to it. Yeah, this stuff sucks. Thank God you feel it too. I was about to get loopy because my department loves it. They even bought t-shirts of Go-Getter on them. So good to know I'm not crazy, you know? Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I never asked for your name. Manly. Woo! Woo. Manly, it's fun good to finally speak with you. My name's Shell. You saw it on the screen. My name's Shell. You saw it on the screen. You seem like a great person. I always wanted to find an excuse to talk to you. Yeah, um... Yeah, you always want an excuse to talk to the, uh... The Black Silhouette that works at your office. But you know... I'm part of another department with... Oh, the next step is starting. Welcome to step three. The most important question we must ask ourselves is... What do we value the most? New scenario. You're at a date with a good-looking lady. Hi! But suddenly... She turns into an evil AI. Your pager rings. It's your boss, and he needs your help. He accidentally sent all the accounts his banking information. And he needs you to sort it out. You look at your date one more time. What do you do in this situation? That AI is going to murder me if I leave. Ignore the pager. Before you make that choice, think a little bit about your values. What can your date offer you? Companionship? Smooch? Can't say it in a work environment. Right there. Think of the market value of each person you speak to. Does dating a normal person bring any true financial benefit to you? On the other hand, your boss can help you achieve such things. Besides, once you're successful, you'll be able to date people with status. No, you won't. Take a look at this picture of my wife. Your wife is that thing from Earthbound. Or... Yeah. Wow. Not one of her better hair days. Anyways. Let's check the scorecard here to see where everybody's at. I'm in second place. Well, I guess because we got the one answer forced on us. We got to take down Bill. I warn you about this. Bill's got to go down. Wow, it seems you're second place. 
I call that blue turtle shelling. Because you do it in tabletop too, or at least I do it. Because I'm usually pretty good at like board games. I'm, I'm usually like in the top percentile. Just by not playing it much, I just have like intuition about how to play things. But you always have like that one friend that's like really good at tabletop or board games, right? Like this is their life. But because it's their life, and if you know how to gaslight people, manipulate people, it's very easy to blue turtle shell them and just get like, like, oh, wow, such and such. Well, that's, that's an interesting movie just made there. And we're just like, oh, you're right. And just, just dogpile the person, like get them out of the game. And then you can mop up all the other people who are weaker in the chaos. Hang in there, you'll still have a chance of being first and winning that trophy. Get ready for the most important chapter of all in our five-step process. Oh my god. Why won't you answer me? I don't have a keyboard, Bill. Name is loaded, please use your option. Next chapter. Hello. Yo. Sorry, did I miss anything? Swung by the copy machine while step three was going. <sighs> you have option to leave? I think it hates me. Huh? And what's the biggest flight of stairs I can push it down? Don't answer that. It's my sword to fall on. <sighs> anyway, step four is where it gets really weird. Congratulations, you've all made it to step four. Or as I like to call it, step quads. I've taught you attitude. I've taught you values. But we're only human. Well, some of us are. Sometimes you feel tired. Sometimes you feel down. Well, I have the remedy for you. That's right, it's my very own special brain supplements. Full of technically legal nootropics. <laughs> These are real things, by the way. Um, classic, classic scam stuff out there. Give you the boost you need to continue working. Full of crap and probably just loads of caffeine. You can trust me because I am a psychiatrist. In fact, your employer is offering a free sample to you. You okay? Uh, all right. I can tell you don't need my supplements. New scenario. You are trapped in my dungeon. Is this a kinky dungeon? Uh, sorry. I, I meant trapped in a, a dungeon. But don't worry. I am here with you. You can trust me, right? Just lend me your hand. Sure, is this part of the program? Nah. You do want to be successful, don't you? I have a special training lesson for you. Please listen closely. Wait. No, no, don't load. I'm not turning step four. Looks like you're not getting any handouts from me. Huh. Huh. What do you think about that lesson, Manly? It's alright. If it's just me or did it get a little grim? Yeah. Yeah, it's nuts. This entire lesson just built up to him honking his pseudo brain pills. What complete snake oil? That wasn't what I saw. Something is wrong. You're right. The entire segment was absolutely disturbing. I mean, do you think it's ethical to get people hooked on dangerous mind drugs? At least I'm friends with my... Wait. Your dealer? Uh, you didn't want to hear that. Now come on, Manly. We have one more stupid step before we get out of this booth. If you want to hang afterwards, there's a diner down the street. I'm actually friends with the cook there and... Oh crap, Bill. He's been trying to reach me all day. You should have taken out Bill. For the last time, answer me. You can do that, can you? Did you lie about that in your job interview? <sighs> Shut up, Bill. Hi, Bill. 
Where is that report, Shell? Been waiting. I thought it's due next week. Shell. I'm sick of you doing the bare minimum. Leave me out five every day. What, do you go out and party all day? Do you drink? Drugs? Sex. Well, one of those things actually probably is true. With her. <laughs> no. This company expects more. I'll be manager soon. When I do, you better shape up. Or I'll have a meeting with the board. You're gonna be dead, Bill. Play next chapter. Hello! Congrats for completely four of the five steps. You mean completing. And I'm not, I'm not sure of like the, the typos. Not They're not typos. They're, uh, you know, just you need some editing. I'm not sure if that's part of the story. Like it's glitching out. Or if it's just the developer didn't do a pass over before submitting it from the game jam. Our final step is coming up. And after that, you'll be on your way. Now, for some of you who have been here before, this part may actually be a surprise to you. But it's actually a little different from our small pep talk. So please, hold on while I set things up with you. See you soon! What, what are you guys set up? What, what? Hi. Hi, Manly. Would you like a cigarette? Nah. Ah, uh, okay, well, I hope you don't mind if I smoke. You guys smoking in my booth? Manly, do you know what you're doing with your life? I do. <laughs> That's great to hear. I wish I could be more put together like, <sighs> you know, everybody, apparently. I burned through my savings to go to college. That's what you're supposed to do, right? No. Well, I'm here. Is this the rest of my life? You should have played video games for a living. I don't know if I want this. I've been here for a few months, and I'm already burned out. That Bill guy seems like a dick. <laughs> yeah, well, not the only one, unfortunately. Been that way in my department for a long time. Well, I'm glad I got to talk to you. Even though it's through a vent and basically a portal body with a TV in it. Sorry about all that. Didn't mean to share my baggage with you. Anyways, last step. Let's get this dumb thing over with. You've made it to step five. I want to let you know that I value each and every one of you. You three especially. Huh? There's only three of us. Um, uh, Manly, something's a little different. You didn't know- you just noticing that now? Let's see that scorecard again. Ah, looks like we have a winner. We've done it again, Bill. Oh, of course, like every time she's in here. The loser. Shell. What? So while you were working through this lesson, I figured out a plan. But I'll need participants. Melly, I can't get out of the booth. It's locked. Please, we have simply one last step to do. Don't be impatient. Manly, I can't get out. Somebody help. Help me. Someone doesn't like smoking. Ah, there we go. For you. You've done well on your first time being here. Last one. Second place ain't bad at all. You are free to leave. Wait, no, I, I meant to do that. Rise and shine. You know what they say. Nearly dove gets more love. Or something like that. Are you real? Hold that thought. Gotta tend to something here.
Bill got a little bit too rowdy when I pulled him in. But this medicine should calm him down a bit. There. Oh, nice and asleep. Very good to see you face to face, lost one. You sure were the easiest to drag down the stairs from your booth. I want to speak with you personally for such... <coughs> you want to just finish Bill off? <coughs> just pass me a mallet, I'll get this over with. Oh no, he's dead. Oopsie. Did I misjudge the dosage again? That's how I lost my psychiatrist license. Allegedly. Well... We still have you. I was going to give Bill this trophy, but since you are technically first place now, you could have it. You won. Yay. Thanks. So are we inside the TV or like you're a real person and you just like burst through the TV? Put on these gloves. Put it on, last one! Thank you. Now look over here. <gasps> Manly, is that you? That is... This looks very suggestive in the wrong way. This last one here... Didn't even take the assignment seriously. She came into my booth, which promised her... Success! Blew it on a smoke break for laughs. This is the forever gone I've been talking to you about. Lost one. Doesn't believe the the grind. Doesn't believe the, the hustle. Will never amount to anything. But you you have potential to be a go-getter. Take this syringe. This one is simply getting in our way. And I think you have the strive to succeed. Let go of me, you crazy widow. Manly, that list is crap, are you? I don't know, I'm feeling pretty go-getter right now. Feeling like I can get that Cromer. Don't do what he says. She's right, last one. You don't have to do what I say. I can do it for you. And then administer the same to you. But maybe you don't need something like that. Is this the same dosage you used on Bill? Oh, don't worry. I double checked for this one. It's five times the dosage of Bill's. Um... I feel like I'm gonna be a big shot. Manly? Welcome to the fold, fellow go-getter. But if you want to succeed, just one task isn't enough. We got new people entering these booths tomorrow. Let's welcome them with open arms. Try never ending. Step Dr. Brain. Would this really work? Like, is that simple? What do you think you're doing, last one? Donnie? Oh. So disappointing. But not surprising. Ah! It seems you are made for greatness, after all. Weak minds are so pati- Damn! You're falcon punched. Thanks, Manly. I had enough time to untie myself. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? We need to get out of here before you... You will not leave. I said you will not leave. The stairs! Manly, the stairs! Run. Cower? That's, that's an option! Too slow. 
Oh god. Cower. It's just a game over. <laughs> just like you just give up like ah, oh, too scared. Run. 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 There was a bathroom break one there. Run. Oh man, it was a scrumptious panini. I could go for one right now. The door's locked. Wait. Give me that stupid trophy. I like the fact the trophy is not like an actual trophy. It's literally the entire trophy pop-up. And you just like grab this giant rectangle and just smash it open. <laughs> Fold me out, Manly. Gotcha, leg, lost one. Manly? What a day it's been, lost one. You didn't make it easier for me. You're a fracking piece of work, you know that. You're just a tentacle monster. Why are you doing this? What the hell are you? A year ago, I was at the top of the world. I had four books published, sold millions. Lived in a mansion, my fifth wife. Damn, it's a lot of divorces. Owned an expensive Porsche, 11911 car, ran like a dream. You wouldn't believe. So why aren't you with your stuff now? It seems to have been a setback to my lifestyle. I don't seem to have much time. These things, all of it, live within the tapes of these booths. My riches, my memories, me, my identity. Well, it seems the more people watch these tapes, the worse my condition is. And it seems that I am losing quite a lot of myself rapidly. When I play through tape 443 times, you're gonna get some problems. At this point, it's just a matter of time. Now, I don't fear death, last one. Not in the traditional sense. I feel failure, poverty, being poor, smelling the poor, watching anime with the poor. Now I need to rebuild my empire and gain back my mansion. Posh and I wouldn't want one and a hot supermodel fifth wife before I go. That starts with recruiting go-getters to help my cause, to get more people to pitch in, buy my books, and have that money flow into rebuilding what I have. I will not die poor, last one. I will not die alone, and you will help me, or I can find someone else. Hundreds of people use these booths after all. Now let me slip into something more comfortable. Put like a little suit on your tentacles, hands. Okay, no, you swing back more humanoid. Now, it gets harder and harder to stay in this form, lost one. But I never close without shaking one's hand. Do we have a deal? Because if we don't, I'll... Oh, the copy machine! What the hell is that noise coming down the stairs? Oh my god. Whee! Manly! Oh my gosh, have I lost you? Come on, we don't have- Copy machine fire, my only weakness! You idiot! This entire place has made a flammable magnetic tape! I don't want to die alone! Both of you! Die with me. <gasps> run, Manly, run! Up the stairs now! Run. Run. There was a pun one there, I was kind of tempted. Run. Run. They keep tempting with that scrumptious panini. Over the exit, Manly. I gotta close the door behind you. And nothing of value was lost.
Um, we're in the dating digital world. Huh. This thing got me thinking. You ever heard of a thing called a union? I mean, that might have just been, like, a color thing, you know what I mean? But, like, that was literally the color of the, uh, the dating sim world. There's no voices. The brain is loosely inspired by the actual computer virus of the same name. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's still going the same theme of the, uh, the viruses, like the, uh, daytime did. Thank you. This is the three-year anniversary since I got back to developing visual novels. Thank everyone for playing these and sending messages, fan art more, and making my work out, trying to do things. I'll be continue to be part of the journey. Thanks again. Shameless plug section. You're a loser, that's why. Loser! You're a loser! I guess. I guess you're right. I- I gotta go. I gotta do some thinking. Loser! You're a loser! You made it in step five! I want to let you know that I value each and every one of you. You, too, especially. With the bad one gone, I have enough hands to organize a meeting between you two. Bill, this is the opportunity to practice. So take a deep breath, and close your eyes. There they are. Tied down, Bill. Take the syringe. Need to calm them down. Ah. So it's not really an ending, it's just, uh, you get an early bad end. Because Bill, Bill stabs you, he just like, he's, he doesn't hesitate. So, that's it for Secrets to Success with Dr. Brain. Uh, there was only two endings, it looks like. If you go back for the other options, they don't really seem to matter much. Like, you get almost, almost the same answer, maybe like one line difference. The only key thing is not calling, uh, your one coworker a loser, which gives you that early bad ending I showed. And then, it's just the finale from right there. The important takeaway is that, don't trust Bill. You gotta team up against Bill, make sure Bill dies, and then everyone's happy. But yeah, it's, this is part of that same universe as these other games I've played. And we have like a vague timeline a little bit, because we had the one that was like in the, the far post-apocalyptic future. So this company made a bunch of like AIs that are just based off of famous actual like viruses. And they went as well as you would think, and they destroyed the world. Now, how does this AI get the ability to bring people into its world in like physical hands? I don't know, but it just does. You know, it's, it's a horror story. It's semi-supernatural. But yeah, outside of that, I mean, I've liked all the games in this series. Everyone's a little different. They're kind of cute in a way. They're not particularly, like, scary scary or anything. They just have, like, a little jump scare in there. Um, I will note that this game does say it's going to have another version at some point. Like, they're going to basically polish up a little bit more and add some more CGs and maybe some other secrets. Maybe even never ending. I don't know. But this is the, uh, the launch build I'm playing here. And... Storyline-wise, I was kind of wondering, like, did this person, like, die, and then they're haunting their VHS tapes now? Or are they always a VHS tape entity, and then the VHS tapes are getting corrupted, like, literally, like, they're just wearing out, it's by proxy. Because to their, to their perspective, it could also be a case where, like, their world is the VHS tape, so they're a success because they live in this VHS tape world, I don't know. Or it could be, like I said, like, the, the ghost haunting thing. So from that, I always think it's a little interesting when they, uh, developer kind of like finds like a niche so they did they did melissa and then now melissa's i think it's still be i don't think it's out yet it's still being worked on the, the the commercial release that has all the routes and everything and they wrote some stuff before that but once you kind of got something that's got like popularity you know it's always interesting to see like how you always have to kind of like grab it and run and you see the developer kind of develop the concept of every like iteration a bit it's kind of almost like you're like along with the journey so i always find that aspect of this uh field interesting but yeah anyway so thank you all for watching play secrets of success with dr brain i'll see you guys later and take it easy